No faith or balls. <laughs> hey, just because we're battle pope doesn't mean we can be reckless. That's 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 not what the campaign title or the intent of the stream is, is reckless behavior. The the intent is battle pope. There's a difference. Yes, strategy pope. When can we have a stream titled reckless behavior? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, we have a new pope, Pius. Pius the second. He's a 2-1-2. Two, two. That's not very good. Your controller is England. Our chance to become is currently 100% until they start investing. How old is our pi our Pope? 60. Hmm. Pretty crap guy. And he is indulgent. Great. This is bad Pope. <laughs> pope Pius, the indulgent wastrel. <laughs> so good. Let's just bring this army down here for now. Um... I think I'm gonna get maintenance up again, just in case we decide to go to war with somebody else. I might fight Aragon right now, even though we can't really afford the aggressive expansion. Just so that we can get, um... So that we can get, what? More money and prestige, transfer trade power, possibly. Although, Reconquest would be the best possible war against him. He has a personal union over Naples, and he's allied with Albania, and that's it. We still have our tech advantage over him. And a tech advantage over Naples. And France does not desire any of his land, but we have seven favors with France. We took Naples only fort, so he's just got a level one fort now. Should be very easy to siege him out. Um, France will not come in, even on a promised territory, because he has no desire for any of the, of the land at the moment. Castile currently hates Aragon. And Castile would attack, would actually accept an alliance. What if we went over the relationship limit again? Uh, ally Castile, call Castile in on a promise of territory. Give him back his cores up here while we feed the Catalonian cores. We could force him to fight Aragon. The Iberian Wedding could fire in the center of the war, though. That sounds reckless. <laughs> we should do it. Well, if this darn siege would ever finish, we could do it. Venice has already entered a coalition against us, and we haven't even taken anything other than Siena. So that's a thing. Not if Aragon is at war with Castile. Genoa has also entered the coalition. Albania, Cyprus, Oldenburg, all of these guys have all joined it. Let's get our third idea. Diplomatic annexation cost minus 25 and tolerance of the true faith plus two. We now have seven tolerance of the true faith, which means that in every province we have negative seven unrest. Finally, 774 days, my God. We don't want to take the land. Make him end his rivalries. Give us all of your money. And war reps. And now Ferrar is just going to immediately get sieged out by Milan. He starts over with a 100 garrison. And that's all. That's fine. No walls? Dude, we already have a coalition. We, we already have a coalition formed. You want me to form up a new one? So yeah, we're at uh, five out of four relations. Our modifier here drops off in 75, so about seven years away, six years away from being allowed to start getting rid of uh, Florence at a good discount. We do have this, this mission that I can satisfy. Also, we've expanded the Papal State. Local construction costs, local development costs in the capital state. I'm not going to turn that one on yet either because I want to wait till we have Salerno. But I can turn on the Acquire Subjects dis discount for some temporary integration reduction on Florence. Ah, shit, I just clicked it. <laughs> well, that's going to last for 25 years. It's fine, I guess. Would be complete in August of 1473, which is going to be before this modifier drops off. So we don't want to start the integration yet. The seal won't give up occupations. That's fine. Doesn't matter. We'll still get some of the return course. He doesn't desire everything. Let's um, let's specify that we demand, like we want this land. See if he'll still accept the alliance. I can't see not letting this war go. Like this has to happen. And I'm gonna make the war goal. Oh god, it's mothballed fort in Ruslan. I wonder if there's any chance that I can get there. 
Takes me... So that's 20 days to march from Provence to Narbonne. In 20 days, could we then theoretically get onto Ruslan in 10 days, I wonder? Yeah, I'm looking at possibly declaring in um, in March for the 30, 31 day month. And I'm a little worried about Naples having an army that can beat mine. Maybe we should pull... I mean, that's a 20 stack. That's a pretty big army. You said Aragon is a rival? Probably should set rivals. We already have Aragon as a rival, but yeah. Um, I can rival Savoy, Hungary, France, Venice. Let's rival Venice. I don't think we should rival Savoy, considering that... Um, He's allied to Austria. Catalonia is now also disloyal. Let's uh, desert, just disable to divert trade from him for a moment. We are losing a lot of Dipple points. We only generate three Dipple points per month right now. We do need to focus Dip. Uh, you know what? Let's just train a couple more infantry. Rather than worry about being not strong enough over here. And on March the 1st, I think I'm going to declare this war. So we're going to call in Castile on a promise of territory. We're going to declare the war over Rusalon. Albania is going to come in, and of course Naples is going to come in. My ships are not really in a good spot. Aragon's got 9,000 troops on Sassari. Yeah, let's, let's just declare it anyway. If the entire navy dies, I'll still be happy if we win this war. And let's see if I've done my math properly. We can be... To Narbonne on the 17th, and to Rusalon on the 25th. Beautiful. Okay. We'll take this war at speed 3 for the beginning parts, and go from there. We do have Waldensi and Heretics in Romagna and Umbria. So for some reason, we've got Unrest. I think I had lowered autonomy there. And yeah, I think my navy is going to probably not do so hot. I'm worried that if I just hide my navy, that the pirates are going to come and pirate the coastline. So maybe we need to keep the whole navy together and just on private, uh, protecting against pirates right now. We captured two light ships. That's cool. These guys are heading into the Bay of Napoli. Yeah, I wish we didn't. I wish we don't. He's gone on the 16th. We're there on the 11th, so I can't stop it. We lost one ship. Okay. Please don't pri pirate my coast, guys. I would really appreciate it if you don't. Also, I'd like to get a claim on Genoa. Spy on him a bit. And for good measure, let's also get a claim on Savoy, just so we have our, our options. Eight heavies could sink everything? Yeah, but it's Castile's AI, though. Castile might be a complete idiot and just not help us. So, Aragon foolishly mothballing his fort in a location that's going to let me steal it is going to let me get easily onto Girona, Barcelona, Tarragona get a lot of this interior territory controlled. Even if Castile occupies Valencia and doesn't transfer it to me, I'll just return these provinces to him so that he can't take this. And if we have to split this up into two wars, we will. But this should be a good war for decent uh, land taken away from him. That's kind of what I was worried about, that army there. So we're trading more men over here. Aragon's heading up into France. I don't know where he... I guess he's going to go, like, way up to the Castile's northern part? I don't know. Let's transfer this to uh, Catalonia, because that's who's going to end up wanting the land anyway. We are very, very low on manpower, so let's stay here with most of the army and loot. Let's tell Avignon to take the next couple provinces for us, so that we can um, have zero attrition sieges and stuff. We are the defender in the mountain here. He'll be there on the 8th. We'll probably win. Still have a tech advantage. Knowledge sharing ends. No, my money! A little bit of reinforcement comes in tomorrow. And then a little bit more after that. Good day, Arumba and chat. Arumba, maybe one unit on Valencia. Try to take over control. Well, he's already got the occupation going there. Which is fine. Seal's going to suffer attrition on 25,000 troops because he doesn't care about any, like, manpower losses at all. As long as that Aragonese army is, like, way up in Castile's land, we'll try to carpet siege a little bit. I don't want to do a siege of that fort. 
Well, it's it's got a half strength garrison though. All right, fine. I want that guy to go up onto that fort, and we'll get some participation. That way, if we demand cash, we can get more cash value. Those are eight galleys owned by Albania. Um, yeah, let's take that fight. Wow, we have like no morale. Jeez. How do I have so little morale here? 2.57 with... I'm assuming we lost the previous fight or something? These galleys are just ripping us apart. Okay, that was a bad idea. We just lost six light ships. <laughs> Oops. It's fine. I didn't really want those light ships anyway. Albania is landing a five stack right now on Napoli on September the 6th. Just farmlands. I only have five troops over here right now. If these ships engage those transports, we might be able to sink them, but I, I doubt Albania would let me do that. Albania's galleys are over here, though. So, maybe? Maybe we poke out with these ships and try? Let's try it. Ideally, we don't want to be looting the lands that are going to be returned to our subject, but it's kind of a minor issue. I'd probably prefer to... Make some money. Dealing with the unrest in Siena. <clears throat> Might want to just raise autonomy here. It's already at 64%. You know what? I, holy crap. 78.7% devastation? Jesus. That's one devastated province. Alright, well we forced him to retreat. Let's stock up in uh, Roma again if we can. Get the navy together. I'm gonna just fo focus most of the army down here, because I know that Naples does have that army uh, in Messina. I don't really care to try to siege down Bari just yet, but I need to prevent him from coming in and unoccupying that land. So, we could just try to peace out, like, really early. Um, I already have 65% participation, so... The fact that Aragon's on his way back down is concerning. I think we should try to peace out in the next couple months without actually doing any more combat or anything. Also, I should probably start building new light ships, since I lost so many of mine. What happened to Navara? Navara died. Oh, Return Core doesn't require occupation, does it? That's right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, let's take a look at our peace deal options, then. Do you care about Castile's opinion, though? It is a temporary alliance, so here, here's the thing. Let's say that I give him no land at all, and I take land for myself, and I break the promise of trust. That means that... I, for 30 years, will not be allowed to promise territory to any AI, not just Castile, but all AI will say, yeah, he's not trustworthy. Now, the way you avoid that, though, is you can still take a trust hit. As long as the trust hit is less than 10, then you didn't technically break the promise of territory. So you can, you can take more than you're supposed to and still be allowed to call France and Castile, sorry, France and Austria into future promise of territory wars. So we just throw him, like, a little bit of land. Make sure that he gets a little bit. Um, the likelihood of getting this peace deal while Aragon has uh, medium enthusiasm is pretty much zero, though. I'd like to just get some more occupations. I'm just worried that this 20 stack is going to block me from doing anything over here. I think they're, they're, I think they're beelining right now to the Pyrenees Mountains. I could just back off of the Pyrenees Siege, hide my army in the mountains of Teruel. Yeah, I think we should do that. But I can't really convince uh, Castile to... Well, maybe we can. Let's see if telling Castile to go there, he'll leave. He's doubling back. Okay, so he wanted to fight us in the mountains. Now he's decided that he doesn't want to be here. He's going to go hopefully back north all the way up to here. And if he does that, we will occupy Vizcaya, Rioja, Navarra, Zaragoza. Okay, he's still going north. Let's risk trying to carpet siege this area. Let's push into Navarra, and if we hold the Navarran Mountain, we can actually safely siege the Pyrenees Mountain. This will have to go around, and we've got this hill over here with the fort, so... Looks like we might be okay to siege that thing down. I think that's gonna work great. Albania did just land a rather large army. Our subject, Avignon, has shown up with a small army. Um, let's... 
park this army adjacent to try to protect against Albania. In fact, Albania has no leader. Can we get Avignon to attach? And we have our 2-3 versus his 0-2. We rolled pretty well in that fire phase. We also have morale advantage. We might be okay here. Which would be nice, because now we can stack wipe that army. Possibly? No. I think I need to uh, slacken standards. Let's hire another general. 0 two, two, one. That's not very good. I like the siege pip, but... I think I'm looking at like a... About a 50% peace deal. I think he is coming back now. He's going to look at going under that mountain province. He sees the opportunity for a defensive fort battle. And he also wants to defend the fort from falling. So he just, he comes back this way. Even if we have to fight in the mountains, I don't want to fight that 4-4 guy. We can offset some of his benefits by being in the mountains. He's effectively a 2-2, but I only have a 4-3. And the 4-3 is the guy that can't get where I need him. I think we can possibly use the 4-3 over here. Our subject just has a 2-2. Let's go try to get some more war score from battles on that guy. Excuse me, you're supposed to be attached to me? Stay here. What are you doing? Avignon, why did you just decide to leave? Thank you. Stay. Stay. Sit. Sit, stay, subject. I. That's going to be a bad fight. We have like no manpower right now. Is he going to go for it? He's not. Okay, great. That's exactly why I put so much effort into that. 47 more score. This time he's going into that location. Let's send 4-3 um, back onto the Pyrenees Mountain. On Pellier. Okay, yes, please do go for my subject's fort. Battle probe dis disapproves of reckless behavior. Our subject, Avignon, does have a siege pip, so let's have him help out with that siege. Yes. Yes! Focus on the siege, Aragon. Go for it. We have a 14 stack of old Denzian heretics. Hmm. Not ideal. This feels like the slowest war that I've done in a long time, even though I'm on speed 4, but... We have a chance that the capital will fall soon. This siege is going quite slowly as well. I think we're in a great spot, though. He's just going to stay there. These rebels are really bad, and I'm going to have to deal with those soon, but... Uh, we should probably peace out in a way that we get black flagged. And we should also cancel military access through France. Military leader has left us. Okay. Three siege pips! Oh my god. We have a fearsome three siege pip leader. Yes. The seal has zero siege pips. Maybe we'd be better off forcing that siege, actually. Yes. Let's try to help out with the Valencia siege to make sure that that one falls as quickly as possible. That capital occupation is going to be super good. <laughs> siege Pope. <laughs> hey, we can purchase an ability. All right, our capital is in farmlands. Um, these are grasslands. There's no farmlands in Iberia. So the farmlands bonus would not be super great. Uh, we could have free war taxes. Justified Wars might be a great pick, though, because we are in the HRE, and this has been an issue lately. So for me right now, it's between Justified Wars or War Taxes. And I think that I'm going to go with Aggressive Expansion Impact. Justify the wars. Justify all of the wars. And soon we're going to get state propaganda for even more of an effect. Oh, Valencia just fell. Naturally. And he did transfer it. Amazing. Jubilee in Roma. Hey, we get to do it this time. Jubilee. For 10 years, we get Missionary Strength versus Heretics plus 3. National Unrest minus 1. Or, not this year, perhaps the next. Gain Devotion. We don't need the Devotion, so sure. Jubilee in Roma. Also won the Siege of Bari. The Pope of the Papal State has convoked a jubilee in Roma. <laughs> a holy year of remission. Excuse me? Pope reacts to him his own. This should be reserved for us, damn it. And he does not like it. <laughs> That's goofy. That should not have happened just that way. We reacted to our own, uh, our own jubilee. Yeah, lol what? Exactly. 
So we have a 14% chance already of taking uh, this. We're at 73 war score, low enthusiasm. I think we're looking at like a full peace deal here, guys. I think we can do all of the lands and all of the land returns. I don't know if the threshold is less than 10 or exactly 10. We'll go do that battle to get some more participation, which also might skew this, this uh, trust loss in our favor. National unrest, national local tax modifier for just a couple years. It's unfortunate, but can't do anything about it right this second. We have a lot of problems. 431 versus 020. No river crossing. Good, good. More participation, please. And awesome. We already got the Pyrenees Mountain. That's 82 war score. This battle is also gaining, gaining us some more participation. Somehow, Casile has more participation than I do by a lot. Probably because he was leading that siege on Valencia for so long. Or maybe the naval battles have given him a lot of credit. That's 83 war score now. If Castile stack wipes Aragon, Aragon will be more likely to peace out. But if I let Castile do that battle, he's going to gain even more participation, which is going to skew the ability for me to get this peace deal even more. I'd have to revoke some of the things that I want. They have 55% contribution right now. I don't want him to do this battle. I really just want Aragon to peace out, like, right now. We're only eight reasons away. Come on. Don't take Urgel. Just drop Urgel. I think we should drop one province and just peace out right now. That would solve it. I mean... <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, we just take one less province and don't have to worry about this deal. So, we do lose nine trust. If you let Castile stack wipe Aragon, you could also just wait till Castile's separate pieces, losing no trust. That's going to be way too long. And we have rebels to take care of. Black flag, black flag. Look at aggressive expansion. It's just 11 AE. It's return course. It's It's fine. We're gaining like five with Genoa, four with Milan. The people that are in the coalition are already in the coalition, so. It'd be great if we could get state propaganda before this or get our prestige up a little bit more before this, but yeah, let's take our deal. We gain 22 prestige, and then of that, we only get 9.6, but hey, great war. Great war, we barely lost anything. I, I always do that, damn it. I never take the time to look at the pop-up about like losses and stuff. So this guy, these armies are gonna march this way up to Dauphin. They get there in July. It's like five months. Nah, never mind. It's faster to use boats. 